Welcome to Crayola Creative Workshop. I'm Allison. And I'm Liana. And we're playing with bubbles. Liana's been playing with bubbles since she was very, very small, but you're never too old to play with bubbles. Bubbles even make a great science fair topic. Here's what you need to do some bubble bubble prints. You'll need Crayola washable poster and craft paint, Crayola glitter glue, a straw, a clear plastic cup, an old pan, some water, liquid soap, and plenty of paper towels. We're also using a paper plate to hold the cup when we take it out. Now the first thing we did was cover our surface with a big piece of plastic. Just makes cleaning up so much easier. And now we're ready to start mixing the stuff to make the bubble bubble prints. Are you ready? Yeah. Okay, so first you're gonna take your cup and you're gonna fill the bottom with some paint. Go ahead, do that. Very good. Hey, do you think, how hard would it be to actually catch and keep a bubble? You think you could know. actually do it? Could you keep a bubble and take it with you wherever you go? I don't think so. No, probably be impossible. But with this, you sort of can keep a bubble. Okay, that's good. So you cover the bottom of the, of the cup with paint. Then you cover it with liquid soap. This is just the kind of stuff you use to wash your dishes or... Um, there you go, good. And it can be almost any kind. Some work better than others. If you're looking for a cool science fair experiment, you might want to try experimenting with different kinds of liquid soap. All good? Yep. Okay. And to make our bubble bubble prints have extra sparkle and look really bubbly, we stick glitter glue in as well. So go ahead and squeeze in some glitter glue. And it's up to you how much glitter glue you want. More glitter glue obviously will make it more glittery. Less glitter glue makes it less glittery. But we really like to put glitter glue in as well. Cool. you, you got to see this mixture. It looks so cool. Can you see it? That looks neat. Ooh, that right there looks like a science experiment. Next, you add water. Enough to to double the size of what's in there. So if we're up to here right now, we want to be up to about here where my finger is. So go ahead and add some water, Liana. Okay, that's good. Next step, and this is fun, is to stir it with the straw. I want to hold the cup with one hand so it doesn't spill. So you're mixing it all together. Do you feel like a scientist? Yeah. You kind of are one. That's kind of a cool concoction all by itself. And now we're ready to blow bubbles. Are you ready? Here's some important things about blowing bubbles. When you're ready to take a breath, don't suck into the straw. Right. You got to take your mouth off of the straw or you'll be drinking a pretty yucky tasting mix of soap and stuff. So yeah. go ahead, Liana. Go ahead and start blowing. If you want to do something really fun, you can experiment with blowing at different speeds. You can blow slow. You can blow fast. Okay. I'm going to turn the pan so the bubbles kind of fall out. Okay. Got a lot of bubbles there. I notice you're taking your mouth off of the straw in between. All right, I think that's pretty good. Now, when you've got the pan filled with pretty many bubbles, have somebody carefully take the cup out, leaving some bubbles behind. This is where the paper towels come in handy. And we've got a couple bubble designs we've already made with a different color. Can you show that one? Made this one with red paint. So now we're going to add blue bubbles to it. Let's do it together. Lower it down. These actually smell really good too. And lift yeah. and show. And there's the bubbles. We have to let them dry, right? So we'll yeah. set it down over here. Now when you mix colors, you can make all kinds. This one we did has three colors. It's pink, purple, and blue. Now you better have plenty of paper and lots of time when you're doing this because it really, you just can't stop. You keep wanting to make new, new ones and using different colors and it ends up being a whole lot of fun. And you can use this for lots of different things. You can make lettering for a poster or you could use it to create other crafts. There's lots you could, what else could you do with this paper do you think? You could... Make a book? Yeah, you could make a book. Make a book, you could wrap a little present with it. There's lots of things you could probably do with yeah. this. Let's make another one. Here, I'll put this back in. 